Well, good morning. It's Pastor Jerry and it's time for Sunday School. So if you're a dove, a lamb or an eagle, sit down and get ready. Here are your teachers. Hello, boys and girls. It's so nice to be with you again. Welcome to 2021. Well, we're starting with the online lessons again. Um, because as you know, we are now again under lockdown and we can't go to church. But uh, we look forward to connecting with you in this kind of way. I hope that all of you enjoyed your holidays and I hope that you spent time with your families and I hope that you were not naughty and didn't give your mums and dads too much of a headache. And now we are getting ready to get back to school and so we're starting with Sunday school again. Are you ready? So let me remind you again the things that we do when we come to Sunday school. We sing and dance. We say a prayer and then we do our pledge and virtues. I hope you can still remember that, our pledge and virtues. We learn our memory verse and then we get onto the lesson. Okay, so let's first start with a song and let's just get our bodies moving a little bit so that we can get into the groove of things. There you go. So I know that you guys always love that song because of all the actions that you do, right? I wish I could see you doing that at home right now and I hope you're really moving around and doing, our, and doing all the actions. Now, let's just take a time to say our prayer so that we can invite the Holy Spirit to be with us. So close your eyes, put your hands together and close your eyes and let's say our prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to fellowship together as we are. We invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and be in our midst. Even though we are not physically together and we are connecting online, we know that you are always with us. Father, I ask that you touch the hearts of each and every child that is listening today so that the word can take root in their hearts and they can use it in their lives so that they can get closer and closer to you in more understanding of who you are and what we do in, your, in our lives. Holy Spirit, we thank you and we invite you to abide with us and stay with us at all times. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, you remember when we say our pledge and virtues? You put up your left hand, you take your right hand, you put it over your heart. Now, Folakemi is going to help us to say the pledge and virtues. I hope that you can still remember. Let's go. I pledge as a city kid to behave as Jesus Christ would at all times, to listen to authority, to be bold and talk to everyone about Jesus Christ, to learn one memory verse a week, to respect. 
respect and help others. The virtues of a city kid are honesty, respect, compassion, and responsibility. We're going to take our Bibles, remember? We always do everything from our Bibles. So we take our Bibles and the memory verse, we find it on Psalm 86, verse 5. Psalm 86, verse 5. Now, Psalm 86, verse 5 says, You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call you. You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Psalm 86, verse 5 you, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all those who call to you. Now, let's remember this memory verse because the story that we are going to be reading today is a story that is going to tell us about forgiveness and kindness. And so the memory verse is very important because it tells us that God is good, God is forgiving, God is kind. But let's see how this has happened in other parts of the Bible. We're going to get our story from Genesis chapter 50. Genesis chapter 50, verse 15 to 21. Now, let's go there. Genesis chapter 50, verse 15 to 21. Now, this story is a story about Joseph. Joseph and his brothers. Now, Joseph's brothers were very mean to Joseph at some point. They thought that his father favored Joseph and loved Joseph more than he did them. And so they came up with a plan where they sold Joseph as a slave. And um, Joseph then went um, to go and work very hard for other people and was not with his family. I mean, if someone sells you, do you think that that is nice? Of course, that's not good. So his brothers were very mean um, and they tricked Joseph um, and, they, and then they sold him off. Now we find the story where um, Joseph has now um, seen his brothers again and they've been reunited. But now their father has died. Their father Jacob has died. And now his brothers are feeling scared that maybe Joseph is still angry with them. Let's see what the story says. This is Genesis chapter 50 verse 15 to 21 and it goes like this after the death of their father Joseph after the death of their father Joseph's brothers said what if Joseph still hates us and plans to pay us back for all the harm that we did to him and so they sent a message to Joseph and the message said before our father died he told us to ask you Please forgive the crimes of the, that your brothers committed. Now please forgive us that we, the servants of your, of your father's God, have done. When Joseph received this message, he cried. Then his brothers themselves came and bowed down before him. And they said, here we are before you as your slaves. Seeing this, Joseph then said to them, don't be afraid. I can't put myself in the place of God. I know that you plotted evil against me, but God has turned it into good in order to preserve the lives of many people who are alive today because of what happened. So you have nothing to fear. I will take care of you and your children. And so he reassured them with kind words that touched their hearts. So you see, even though Joseph's brothers were mean to him, Joseph found it in his heart to forgive them. He found it in his heart to reconcile with them. When they came before him and they bowed to him and they said, we apologize, we are so sorry. We know that we plotted against you. Please forgive us. So Joseph had a kind heart and had a spirit of forgiveness in him. Just like in the Psalms, in the memory verse, they, they tell us that the Lord is good and forgiving. Joseph was also good and forgiving. And so it's important that we are also good and forgiving. And you know, sometimes I know you fight with your sisters or your brothers or your friends, and maybe someone pushes you and you fall and they hurt you and you become very angry. 
and then but when they come and say sorry to you we need to find a kind heart and we need to find forgiveness so that we can be able to forgive them and we can live together happily this is the way that god wants us to live this is the way that god wants us to show other people that we love them so do you think you can find it in your hearts to forgive the people that hurt you do you think that you can find kindness in your heart so that you can act more and more like how god wants you to I hope that you will use this and I hope that you will remember that you must always be kind and always be forgiving. Goodbye for now. We thank you for joining us for today's online service. Now here's two important questions you must ask yourself. What did the message say to me? And what, if any, is my response? Join us again for our Sunday morning online service with Pastor Tim Grage on YouTube next week at 9 a.m. For your tithes and offering, here are our banking details. Please note that your heartfelt giving to the Kingdom in this season will aid the many struggling financially in this time and we thank you for your generosity. Nothing would bring us more joy than to welcome you home at 93 Grayston Drive, Santon, very soon.